Hey, it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So in this tower challenge, I have spent about $100 or more on magical chess, which is absolutely insane, but I have got so many new characters and attractions in my kingdom. It is totally awesome. And some of those new characters include Alice. Curious, very curious indeed. I've rather grown used to rabbits wearing trousers by now, but I'd never seen a fox in a necktie. And the only bluebird I met was a good deal more pompous than I'm used to. <laughs> Zazu, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Quest complete, I wonder. Perhaps I'm in someone else's dream altogether, but whose? Yeah, so Nick Wilde was the fox in the necktie and Zazu was the blue bird that was totally pompous, which I could definitely see. Yes, yes, that's much better, much, much better. Now I can finally see how far behind I am. Forty years late. <laughs> Poor rabbit. <laughs> Oh, I must have wound it too far. He's always late, the white rabbit. Quest complete, just winding you up. I'm really just an hour late, but I'm still late. Oh, hurry off, hurry off. I think Rabbit actually could have a costume. The Queen of Hearts one at the very end of the movie when we actually see him go and visit her and stuff like that, and they have the game of croquet. He should definitely have that as the saying goes, one must always keep one's head. Unless you're a Cheshire cat, that is. Quest complete, D cat pitated. And I should know I am one you see, except for when I'm not. Oh dear, can you stand on your head? He can, absolutely. It's actually kind of a freaky, but uh, we have gotten used to it from the Cheshire Cat by now. He is so cool. I was so happy when I got him in the Magical Chest. He was actually a legendary character, so super hard to get. Jack and Oogie. No! Impossible! My performance was flawless. Every one of my grimaces was perfect, but, but I... But you lost, pal, and lost big. Ha 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 ha. About time you faced facts, Jack. You are washed up, burned out, kaboot, and even worse than that, you're ordinary. No, not that anything but that. <gasps> Jack doesn't like to be ordinary. Quest complete. Boogie's back. I, I have to go. I, I need some place to think. Poor Jack. Aww. So, it's come to this. Jack Skellington. Average Joe. Conventional. Ordinary. About as scary as an unbuttered toast. I couldn't handle anyone else's holiday, and now I can't even handle my own. It's almost too much to bear. I... Excuse me. I think I need to be alone for a while. Crisis of Wrath. Send Jack to the graveyard to brood. Aww. Why do I feel so sorry for Jack? Aww. It's not spooky enough anymore. Genie. Ah, yeah. He sings. He dances. He turns himself into a hundred marching tubas. I'm a triple threat. Who says vaudeville's dead? Wait. Has Vaudeville even been invented yet? Either way, not dead. <laughs> I'd do more impressions if it weren't for all the right issues. Lawyers, don't get me started. Take it from the guy who knows getting subpoenaed by Alexander the Great is no fun. <laughs> Genie's mad. Quest complete. Showtime. A lot of Greek guys chasing you with pointy sticks. Wouldn't want to repeat it. You know what? I don't think we have actually seen his welcome screen yet. Actually, his could be a lot of fun. Alright, Jafar. Oh, dear. 
There, all is prepared. Now, all that's left is to wait and to let the curse grow stronger with every moment. Uh-oh. Hmm, what's that? Quest complete, let's try that again. Bah, likely that twit Yago again. I gave that ungrateful bird explicit instructions not to disturb me. Ah, oh, freaky! More dialogue from him. Oh, but it's Aladdin and Abu. <laughs> Jafar is back, and he has help? Whoa, good thing you were there, Abu. Yay, Abu, you're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get a swelled head about it, okay? You go and warn Genie. I'll try and figure out what Jafar's up to. Street smart rat. Send Aladdin to spy on Jafar. Oh, yikes. Okay, but he is in the tower challenge right now, so we will have to wait. Or I guess he's more challenging the tower is what I should be saying. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so I think we're gonna have some dialogue from Iago if I remember correctly. Wherever he is exactly. Oh, he's right there. Yay! Wow, that was complete disaster. Like, it's like they've never seen a talking bird before. Which I know for a fact isn't true. I passed two of them on the way into this place. Everyone's all, where did you get the lamp? Is it stolen? We don't deal in stolen goods. What? Do I look like a thief? Quest complete. One relic lightly used. Don't answer that. <laughs> no, we won't, Yago. Don't worry. We know, uh, kind of are a thief. All right, so I've got a couple of bronze chests. Actually, I just opened so many bronze chests. It is actually nuts. Um, now, ooh, Kravat token for the beast. So we are now collecting, guys, four characters um, that even though we've collected everything for them to level up, the chests have the abilities to continue to collect. Now, our characters can't continue to collect past that level, but the chests do up until level 10. And then once it's 10, then the you know character token disappears altogether. So it really just depends there. So Aladdin isn't going up against the tower this time. He's gonna do um, his spying on Jafar. Aw, oh, Jack, poor Jack. <laughs> it's settled then. Some other ghoul will be more than happy to take up my crown. If not Oogie, then Jack. Wait, don't give up, please. There's something I have to tell you. Sally, you came. You, you've always believed in me, haven't you? Quest complete, crisis of wrath. Maybe I shouldn't give up hope just yet. It's always darkest before the blood moon. After all, the blood moon. Speaking of moons, his attraction is absolutely amazing, the graveyard. My visions were clearer than usual, Jack. Oogie isn't scarier than you at all. He only beat you this time because he had help. Then I haven't lost my touch after all. Sally, this is wonderful news. It's not like Oogie to count on anyone besides Lock, Shock, and Beryl. And since they're not here, it must be someone new. And that gives me the most marvelous idea. Come with me, Sally. We have a lot of planning to do. Jack bounces back, sends Sally and Jack to plan at Jack's house. All right, so Sally is a little preoccupied at the moment, but that is definitely on my list to do now, for sure. Aladdin. Hmm, well, he doesn't have his parrot with him. That's for sure. I'd hear them coming a mile away if he did. But if he was alone, who was he even talking to when he said, The curse will be unstoppable any moment now. 
<laughs> he, uh, he must really like monologuing about his plans. Quest complete, street, smart, rut. I never really got why that's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Abu. What's that, boy? Trouble at the old mill? Sultans fall down a well? Come on, work with me here. Hmm. Huh. All right, all right. You got me. I did take that learn to speak monkey in ten days or less correspondence course. And either you're telling me to cast a couple dozen anti vizier spells, or I have banana on my face. Or maybe both. Phenomenal cosmic power. Send Genie to cast an anti-evil Vizier spell. So cast the spell two hours to do. Let's see. Alright, so um, now Aladdin is back to go up against Maleficent. Thank goodness. Um, that just kind of cuts down the coins and stuff if you don't have him and the points. Now the points I definitely am working on collecting, but the coin is the big thing, I think, um, for the mayor's badge as well as his ears hat, which is to come. Oh dear, so soon, so soon. And I know that we need... Like, I need like 8,000 more, I think, so I'm gonna have a lot, a lot of work on my hands for collecting um, Maleficent coin and stuff, so absolutely crazy. So right now we can see I'm at 13,351 out of 25,000 points. So I have a little bit to go still, um, just a little under halfway, but that is okay. So I'm gonna try in this video to get through. <laughs> all the way to the 25,000 points, which is going to make this video so long. But you know what? It's going to be worth it because of all the dialogue and stuff. Jafar, disgraceful, utterly disgraceful. The people here may be willing to trust a stranger. But it appears they are not willing to trust one with a snake-headed magical staff and a midnight black cape. It's shocking, really. I worked for the Sultan for years and he never even batted an eye. Quest complete, Jafar. Who's Jafar? <laughs> then again, perhaps I shouldn't be using him as a standard for attentiveness. Yeah, probably not. Actually, the Sultan would be amazing, as well as Lockshock and Barrel. I actually, I think that's four characters they could add. There's so many characters, actually, they could add to this game. But, um, I mean, if they were going to add to Aladdin, I think they would do it when roughly when the Aladdin movie is going to be released. So, I don't know. I can't think of anybody else that they could add from the Aladdin collection. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments below. So Minnie Mouse's pirate costume is new now. I have finally got enough stuff. I sent her for it. So it is so cute. Oh, I want to leave it on her, guys. But I can't. I have to put her back in her Halloween costume, um, which is okay for Halloween and stuff like that. But for this tower challenge, all of your Mickey and friends that have pirate costumes need to be in their Halloween costumes. Doesn't matter who they are, they all need their Halloween costumes on right now. See, cause look, they throw treats. Actually, they actually just teleport. Minnie just like teleported over to this area. It's just craziness. So Donald, Daisy, Mickey, and Minnie, and Goofy. So they're all the ones that can, uh, can do all that dancing candy stuff, which is amazing. They're more like they throw candy by the looks of it. It's like, everybody, take candy, take candy, which is kind of funny, but anyways, that's okay. So this tower challenge so far is going pretty well, considering I didn't think uh, I was going to do that great, but so far I'm actually doing fine. Um, I do need to collect a lot more Maleficent coin, but I kind of will reassess 
um, probably at the start of chapter three with where my coin situation is and then sort of go from there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that um, I've got more, you know, than I will need or whatever. But I have a feeling, like we don't know how much those ear sets are and I have a feeling that when they come out, they're gonna be a lot more than we expect. So now I'm guessing I'm predicting it's gonna be about 600. Um, normally I would have said five, but everything seems to have increased like crazy here. I don't, can't even explain it to you. All right, so um, let's see. I've got a lot of characters to collect from and everything. Jeannie's gonna have some dialogue for us in a minute. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have been able to collect um, all of the mayor's badges and uh, megaphones because I would like to see how you guys are doing in terms of progress if I'm falling behind or I'm doing actually okay I think for now I'm okay but I'm hoping by the end of this video to have enough so that's sort of the goal here for sure Ooh, okay so here we go silver chest and a pirate flag at the very last surprise really that's horrible. Come on, something better here. Pumbaa's ears had token. Of course, those are one of those uh, character token things that my characters can't collect for right now because it's maxed out, but these chests still do. Actually, I think it's kind of a cool feature, actually, that they've done that. Um, it just definitely was a little bit unexpected. Genie and Aladdin. Ow! Quick question. Do I have fruit on my schnoz, or did Jafar just start doing evil Jafar things again? No, wrong answers. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, yeah, the second one. I'm not sure how much Abu told you, but he's using someone else's curse to do his dirty work this time. Huh. That explains why my magic didn't give him the boot right away. I forgot to factor in his complete lack of originality. <laughs> Quest complete. Cosmic powers. What kind of mook just rips off someone else's style like that? Rhetorical question. It's Jafar! <laughs> uh, I knew Genie's dialogue was going to be funny, but it's pretty good. Time's up, Jafar. Whatever it is you're planning, it stops now. <laughs> oh my dear, naive street rod. It has only just begun, just a few moments ago. All according to plan, send Aladdin and Jafar to face off. No, um, that's dangerous. Genie would be a big help in this. Genie, help! What is he doing right now? Jack! Oh, I feel much better now. And do you know why? Because I'm not just any old pumpkin king anymore. I'm a pumpkin king who resolves to learn how to juggle. How's that for something new? Quest complete. Dead. Itation. I wonder if the witches still have that lovely collection of severed heads I could borrow. Jack, what are you doing? Alright, so I'm bringing back Celia May into the kingdom now. I'm trying to get all my Monsters Inc. characters maxed out here if I can. Celia May is now level 10. I hope my googly bear still recognizes me. I'm sure he will. Ooh, and dialogue is coming. Oh, Googly Bear, I love, love your wonderful smile. Oh, Schmoopsie Poo, I love, love your beautiful voice when you say things like that. <laughs> really? Then why don't I sing for you? But Celia, that's not what I... Take the stage, send Celia to sing at the Laugh Floor open mic. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that's going to be really bad? Sing in harmony, eight hours, so she can do that. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so 
Um, it looks like Alice in Wonderland characters, they can be leveled up relatively quickly here. So let's do it. They're like level one to choose. And it'll be a bunch of welcoming screens that we have not seen before, which is really exciting, like the white rabbits. Oh, there he is. He's like, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Wow, he's hardly in his screen at all. White Rabbit is now level two. Oh me, oh my, this is a surprise. That you're on time or that you're late? He probably doesn't know. Okay, so Mad Hatter, uh, he could be an option. Jasmine looks like she's ready to go too. Oh dear, she's busy, okay. I was gonna say that two hours could be super useful for her, but since she's busy, let's do Hatter. He's busy, no! Okay, um, Caterpillar, yay, six minutes. So then I might just wait and then do uh, Mad Hatter right after. Oogie, see, nothing to it. In fact, we're non-lethal spookers. Concerned, I think that just about put Jack to shame. What do you mean? You saw a poisonous death bug crawling out from underneath my sack. I maintain that that was an accident or a trick of the light. Take your pick. Oh dear, we're gambling with Oogie again. Quest complete, scarier than thou. Could have been swamp gas too. You never can tell with swamp gas. Uh, okay. I will take your word for it. Oogie, though, I, my gosh, with those chests, I still can't believe. I just had to have Oogie Boogie. I wanted to do the storyline so badly. Here is Caterpillar. Oh, I love his screen. Caterpillar is now level three. I see. More dialogue. Hmm. I see. It is time for me to practice my recitatives. <laughs> I find the flowers to be a satisfactory audience. You see, they cannot walk away in the midst of a performance. <laughs> I still don't have his voice at all, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, discourse in the daisies. Send the caterpillar into the golden afternoon. Okay, clearly I need to watch Alice in Wonderland a few times to start working on it. So hopefully he doesn't have too much more dialogue here. Off to see the flowers. Eight hours. Well, since he just leveled up, that is okay. Actually, he's got to be one of the slowest characters in the kingdom. So slow. It's unbelievable. It's almost painful to watch. <sighs> All right, so looks like Jesse. Geez, it's hard to pick. Do I want Aladdin sword or the stuff for Caterpillar again? So difficult to decide. Ham's an easy choice. Getting stuff for carpet for 60 minutes is like golden. You know what I was ho hoping that doesn't happen is uh, Jafar and Zerg. I hope they never meet. <laughs> I have a feeling that um, those two with their capes and stuff, they'd be a force to be reckoned with. They'd probably just be friends because they've got capes. Yeah. It seems like the kind of thing will Zerg and his teddy bear situation, but. All right, here is the Mad Hatter, who is absolutely mad. Mad Hatter is now level three. This called for tea and jam. Somebody get the jam. <laughs> and more dialogue. I say, isn't it about time we had a bracing stroll around the garden? I've always been in favor of bracing strolls. Always. Since, well, I can't remember even when. Aids with the digestion of tea. Let's see. Now, how do you do this again? Walking it off. Send the Mad Hatter on a brisk constitutional. Okay. It's just not a stroll. It's a... Uh, off for a brisk walk. Okay. Wow. 
That is very brisk. He has his eyes closed. Oh, I saw him open there for a second. Mm, kind of strange. All right. Um, Olaf, he is now leveling up. So why Olaf? Because I have a feeling that for Christmas we might need him. So I'm starting now. Sally, I've got it. And thank goodness I have. I couldn't have made Jack this cologne without it. Now he'll be able to smell like bog, muck, and toadstool icor from yards away. Oh, he'll be so happy. Quest complete, Sally's shopping list. Maybe I should call it Eau de Tomb. What do you think? I think that's a great name for the most disgusting cologne I've ever heard of. <laughs> I admire Jack very much, but he can be single-minded sometimes, and we all know what happened the last time he fixated on an idea. Maybe I should keep track of him for a little while, just to make sure he's not planning anything that could get out of hand. Shadowing a skeleton sent Sally to keep an eye on Jack. Okay, so 12 hours. She's definitely going to be spotted by Jack, that is for sure. Alright, so I think we are have some dialogue coming. I think it's from Zero. Um, I think he was off doing something, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, here he is. Arf! Oh, Zero, I just spoke with a rather earnest zombie family from the South M Mausoleum. They're not mad, exactly, but maybe you could give them their rib cages back once you're done with them? Quest complete. A grave situation. Arf! 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 Zero! Arf! 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 Why, of course I have time to play Zero. Ready? And catch! Fetch! Send Jack and Zero to play together. Okay, so not yet. Um, that will have to wait just because it is not part of the, the storyline that I want to kind of finish right now. I really need to focus on those top few kingdom quests, or tower challenge quests more or less, because... Uh, yeah, they're not actually like kingdom quests, they're like tower challenge quests, but uh, just because for the limited time, and I want to get those characters um, out to help out with uh, the challenging of the tower, so the sooner I can do that, the better. Now, I think I have to finish all the Aladdin dialogue first. I believe I know that I wish I could have finished the, uh, the dialogue sooner with Sally and Jack and everybody, but... It had to wait. Hatter! No, no, no! That wasn't a bracing scroll at all. That was a brisk constitutional. Two very different things. The one aids in digestion, you see, and the other, well, the other, you see it. <laughs> I've forgotten which is which. <laughs> Quest complete. Walking it off. Neither of them are taking tea. I'm sure of that. So how good can either of them be? Not very good, I don't think. And clearly tea is the only thing that matters. Especially to you, because you're a mad hatter. Alright, so I think Olaf is actually done leveling up. But I got dialogue here to finish. Well, what do you think? You're amazing, Schmoopsy Poo. It takes a truly unique talent to break every mirror in the place. Quest complete. Take the stage. That was so much more fun than karaoke. I got to make up my own lyrics. Oh dear. She broke every mirror at the laugh floor. I have a feeling that the dialogue will be repairing the laugh floor. I feel like that's that's what's next. Caterpillar. Will you walk a little faster? Said a witting to a snail. There's a 
porpoise close behind us, and he's treading on my tail. Oh, why must this poem entail treading upon tails? Oh, why, why? Quest complete discourse in the daisies. I do not see the humor. Oh dear. Okay. Um, not sure what that was about. Some sort of poem, basically. Okay, so the featured collection is not unlocked yet, but that is something I gotta keep working on. Now, Boo, I really needed to invest in before this started. So, she is a character that for tower challenges, guys, have been consistently useful. I've noticed that now, um, since this is the third tower challenge. So pretty much she would be a good investment for any of us to add to our kingdom with gems or real money. Oh, Olaf. What are we going to do with you? Olaf is now level six. Who wants hugs? Me, actually. I want hugs. You always want hugs. You're Olaf. He likes introducing himself as, Hi, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Not too warm, though, so that he melts. All right, here is Elsa. Her welcome screen is amazing. Elsa is now level six. I feel more powerful. You should be. You are a level higher. So the Frozen characters, I think it is important to kind of continue them to be leveled up and stuff like that just with these tower challenges and stuff like that um, I would like to get at least one of those characters maxed out so that if I can use them for a featured collection or just the featured character for a tower challenge um, and I think that would be really helpful now I don't have Hans yet so he is a character that I will have to wait for until the legendary chests come back out um, but he I think is a legendary character um so it might take a few times to actually get him but we'll see i don't think the tower challenge this time is gonna call for frozen but you never know i think it's gonna be the next tower challenge close to christmas here is the march hare march hare is now level three yes yes that's it. nice that's nice but i'm sure this would go better if we had some mustard Mustard, I say, this is no kind of unbirthday party at all. Where's the tea? Where's the music? Where's the fellow whose unbirthday it is? Why, one might almost assume that it isn't anyone's unbirthday party at all, which everyone knows is preposterous. Ah, but on the other hand... If we have tea and music, an unbirthday party is sure to follow, which everyone knows is sensible. The tea pot's tune. Send the March Hare to conduct unbirthday music. Four hours. Yikes. Alright, so we will take a look at him in a second here, but the Queen of Hearts is leveling up. I'm actually surprised I have enough stuff for her. She's actually keeping up with the other characters in terms of leveling up. Usually the villains are really hard to collect for. Very cute welcome screen. The Queen of Hearts is now level 2. Off with your... Uh, oh, never mind then. Okay. She was going to take off her head and then changed her mind. As long as she wins at croquet, then um, that's all that really matters, right? Okay, so actually the character that is the hardest at the moment for me to collect for is the Cheshire Cat, um, which I'm a little bit surprised about, but um, yeah, a little strange. All right, Yago is ready to go. Now, Aladdin characters are useful for now. I probably won't focus on their collection, though, um, once the tower challenge is over. Yeah, I'll probably just move on to more Frozen. Yago is now level two. Okay, okay. As long as you don't come after me with any crackers, we're good. No crackers. Got it. He hates crackers. I think the Sultan needs to be in so that we can have some dialogue between um, 
Yago and him. I think that would be actually amazing. Now, they could go for characters from the second Aladdin, but I don't know. They could do Aladdin's dad, I guess. Mind you, I feel like that would be super intense, and I don't know if the game is super ready for second movies just yet, because then it's like, it opens a whole new window for Melody and from Little Mermaid, and um, I don't know. I just feel like there's a whole bunch of other characters that they would add then, and I think it just depends. I think we need to finish with uh, the main ones. Like, I think we still need, like, Pocahontas and stuff. We need to have an event for that, but that one, I guess, could be part of the main storyline. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should Pocahontas be a uh, limited time event, or do you think Pocahontas should be uh, part of the main storyline? I think that one could go either way, really. Here is Scar. I just felt like leveling him up because he was only six minutes. Scar is now level three. I will take what is rightfully mine, no matter the cost. Or uh, that voice should have been a lot deeper for him. He has a very deep voice. Deep voice. <laughs> Don't really have those voices down. All right, so I'm gonna level up Anna. She is actually the highest level Frozen character I have right now. And four hours I have to spare because she was really the only character that I didn't send out, so keep everything moving. Um, she's not too long to level up, so I figured now was a good time to do that. So I'm still working on the points for the challenge. I am getting closer, but it is taking a little while. So we're going to continue working on that. Now, in the event shop here, we can see a 400 event currency for this mayor's badge. So um, I needed 8,000, roughly, uh, currency in order to get to 30. So I think now I've got enough. Hopefully I did my, my math calculation right. Otherwise, I won't be able to get them all just yet. I will have to wait. But I think... Uh, it looks like we'll have enough. I think just enough. Oh my goodness. One more. <laughs> so now I am left with 24 Maleficent coins. Oh, guys. It's so sad seeing it all disappear. But now I have got 60 of the mayor's uh, character tokens now. So now all I need is 30 left, which are his ears hat. So that unlocks in two days, 23 hours. So... I was able to get enough currency with basically three days still to go before the next chapter starts. So that gives me time um, to continue to collect. So hopefully I can get like maybe about 5,000 event currency before um, the next chapter starts. I will definitely probably need, what, 15, I'm guessing? We'll say 15,000 I will definitely need probably. So that is going to be kind of my goal. And... Frankly, I'm a little bit worried I'm not going to have enough, but we'll just have to wait and see here. I'm not totally sure how that's going to go, but I need to really keep on that uh, that tower because I can't save it to the last minute to try like the last week or five days, whatever, to collect. It won't be good enough time. Jack, why, Sally, have you been following me and secretly too? Jack, I, I, oh, it's no use lying to you. I just wanted to make sure you weren't thinking up anything too outlandish. Oh, Sally, I was just brainstorming new ways to follow people secretly. And you've just given me a huge burst of inspiration. Quest complete, shadowing a skeleton. Oh, really? Then I guess I'm glad I could help. Okay, that was strange. That was a strange way to get busted for following somebody around. But, uh, okay, so Jack is now off with Sally yet again um, to do the Tower Challenge quest. So we'll check on them again in a few minutes here. Now Anna is back into the kingdom. Very happy indeed. Anna is now level 7. This calls for a celebration. Can we throw a party? Ooh, or a ball. I think a ball would be amazing. 
then you guys can dress up. Actually, speaking of dressing up, their outfits I still do not have yet. Um, they're special Christmas ones, so um, hopefully those are the other things actually I need to get in the legendary chest. Crazy, so much stuff still. Sally, I think it's a lovely idea, Jack, but are you sure it will work? I've never been so sure of something in all my death, Sally. You can't scare someone properly unless you know what they're afraid of. And in Oogie's case, I think I know just what it is. Quest complete. Jack bounces back. I hope you're right, Jack. No, I know you are. Oh, well, that helped with my currency big time. I'm already at a thousand now. Oogie, <laughs> back for another round, Jack. You must be a glutton for punishment, cause I've got plenty of punishment to deal ya. Are you so sure about that, or are the rumors true that you're just borrowing your spookiness from beings even scarier than you? What? That's not, ain't nobody scarier than Boogie Man. I'm an original. You take that back. Ha <laughs> ha, I'd say I hit a nerve. If you had any in that sack of yours, come on then, Oogie. Hit me with everything you've got. Double or nothing, send Jack and Oogie Boogie to have a rematch. Okay, so before that, I'm leveling Oogie Boogie up because uh, now I will be able to start collecting for him again. And since it's really only six seconds to level them up, it's really no big deal. This is the first time actually we've seen his welcome screen. I think they should have had some sort of spinning wheel and dice flying around and stuff. Oogie Boogie is now level two. Score one for the Boogeyman! Yeah, I definitely think they could have done a lot more with his welcome screen. I had really high hopes for that. Okay, so here's Boogie just standing there. I think he's waiting for Jack. Uh, okay. Uh, so I don't know if this quest normally happens right here at the front of the kingdom, but if it does, that'd be super cool. So Jack's scaring. Oogie Boogie's laughing. Oogie Boogie scares. And Jack is laughing. <laughs> oh, dear. That is quite some battle that's going to happen for two hours. All right, so Genie is now ready to come in. Oh. Oh, his welcome screen's awesome. That is definitely in the top of my of my top favorites for sure. Genie is now level 2. For me, you shouldn't have. Truly, I have no idea what's happening right now. You just leveled up, bud. All right, carpet is off for 6 minutes and he will be back. Uh, Carpet, I believe, was a paid character during that event, but I didn't participate in it, so I technically don't know for sure. But Carpet seems like he would be one of those characters that um, wouldn't be part of the main story you'd have to buy during a limited time event. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Hmm, there was tea, yes, and music, yes, but the unbirthday fellow was nowhere to be seen. And I should know, I was the only fellow there to do the seeing. Why, I'm absolutely beside myself with consternation. Ah, uh, but on the other hand, if I'm beside myself, then it stands to reason. I could see myself beside myself, which means... Aha! Which means I was the unbirthday fellow all along. Quest complete, the teapot's tune. And a very merry unbirthday it is too. A very merry unbirthday to you. And it's my unbirthday too. <laughs> okay, so Carpet is coming back into the kingdom. Carpet is now level three. And a carpet of few words. Carpet's avoiding you again, isn't he, Abu? That's too bad. You guys were getting along so well. If there's one thing Jasmine taught me, it's how important it is to be honest. You should just tell him how you feel. 
Huh? Going to the mat. Send Carpet and Abu to work out their differences. Yeah, fat chance of that. All right, so I don't know, guys, who is the uh, character that is part of the bundle for this chapter. Actually, chapter one and two of this tower challenge, um, I didn't get any of those promos, so I must have already had the characters already. So let me know in the comments who are the characters that were part of bundles um, in this tower challenge, because I would actually really like to know that for sure. Um, okay, so here is the tower. Now, if you guys are new to the game, um, basically you see the two diamonds that are coming out of the tower there. So the gray one means it's already done. The purple one means it's in progress. And the one that's down below kind of still stuck in there, that means it's still to come. So that's sort of how you know what chapter we're in. If you guys are kind of like jumping in part of the way, then that's sort of what it means. So just so you guys know, I've realized that that is something um, that I haven't touched on in the event yet. So just some useful tips if you guys want to know what chapter you're in. Bullseye is now level five. And a horse a few words. I can't believe Bullseye is actually level five now. Nick Wilde is coming in. Actually, I wonder how many characters I've leveled up in this video. There's a question for you guys. Nick Wilde is now level four. Hey, nice to see someone around here who's got an eye for how awesome I am. You are pretty awesome, Nick. We won't lie. He could use a costume too. His police outfit would be pretty awesome. I know why he has that outfit, but they could do an upgrade with that. All right, so Pirates of the Caribbean is one of those collections um, that is useful for tower challenges. And also, um, Pirates of the Caribbean now has gone from stopping at level 6 to going to level 10. That was the only collection that stopped, uh, that maxed out at level 6. So now that that's changed, we have to collect all the stuff for the characters again. No matter how long you've been playing the game, it's kind of reached that point. So that's why Elizabeth Swan needs to be maxed out. <sighs> I, I ain't through yet, Jack. You'll see. Poor Oogie. Aww, I bet you he got defeated. <laughs> I'm not sure I do, Oogie. You see, I have friends I can count on. Why? They make me feel scarier every time I think of them. But whoever you've fallen in with, well, I've got a feeling they don't care about you one bit. And after they run out of uses for you and throw you away, well, who will be the scariest ones then? <sighs> they will. Team-ups are a sucker's game, and I'm quitting while I'm ahead. Get me out of here. Quest complete, double or nothing. Ha ha, I knew it. Not being scary must be the scariest thing Oogie can think of. Wow, that's a twist. Maleficent! Hmm. So, the monster was undone by his own pride. How disappointing. Yes. Beetles may have their uses, but that many all together, well, I found it rather excessive to begin with. Worry not, my lady. He may have failed, but I am not so easily swayed. Only allow me free reign, and this kingdom will be ours. Hmm, very well, Vizier. Do your worst. I will bide my time from the shadows. Okay. Queen of Hearts! Ha! That's the fifth trick in a row I've won this game. At this rate, I may not even have to lose my temper, after all. Wait! Where did they go? Ignoring the queen in the middle of a winning streak is cause for beheading, you know. Oh, she's mad. Off with your head. That is what's going to happen next. I need a spookier voice for her, that is for sure. She 
is one I haven't quite mastered yet either. I think most of the Owl's characters need a little bit of work. So, you're gonna have to binge watch that movie probably a couple of times. All right, so basically guys, I've got everything from the magical chest, so I don't see a need to open any more magical chests um, at this point point in the game. Now, Platinum, that is another story. Um, platinum, there is still a lot of attractions that I could use out of uh, those chests, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what I get in this one right here. Maybe I'll get an attraction? Concession at the worst? No, decoration would be the worst. <laughs> Concession! Goofy's hat stand. So I already have one of those, but I can always trade that in for elixirs if I want to. But I really wanted Splash Mountain, to be honest. Um, that is one of those things that um, I've been waiting for. Milestone reward! Milestone 5 has been reached. Jafar's lamp stand. Alright, so guess what, guys? That is the end of Chapter 2 in the Tower Challenge. That is amazing. I can't believe it. All right, so I have gotten over 25,000 points, and that is amazing. And I still have two days, two hours to spare. So I'm very, very happy about that. So the next chapter, um, I need to get to 25,000 points again to get another concession. And that is the Tweedles uh, hat stand. So I'm really looking forward to getting that. And now that I have maxed out on the megaphones and the badges, I can continue to save my Maleficent coin. So I was hoping to get to 5,000 um, I guess in the next two days. So we'll see if I can get there. I'm at 3,000 right now. So I might actually stand a chance. I know definitely finishing those side quests were super helpful because I got like 400 um, like every time I think from doing that. So pretty good. Jafar. There. The hour is at hand. The curse is at its height. And now... Hmm, well, I believe a bit of revenge is in order. Ha! I wouldn't be so sure about that, Jafar. But go ahead, hit me with whatever kind of magic you've got. Quest complete, Al, according to plan. But if it doesn't go the way you think, don't blame me. See, another 400 coins. Okay, so it is totally worth, guys. I'm opening those magical chests, even just for the currency, if you want to try and collect the mare, for sure. Get those characters. They're so helpful. Genie, that's my cue. Time to transform one mean little curse into something with a bit more pizzazz. Yeah, pizzazz. And for those of you who don't watch heist movies, that was the plan all along. Al distracts Jafar while I do my stuff. Let's see, unravel a few hexes here, edit our couple jinxes there. Yeesh, somebody's a fan of green fire. So tacky. <laughs> oh, this sort of thing takes time, so everyone else is going to have to cool it for a while. Relax, kick back, have a cappuccino. Really, a cappuccino. Okay, ta-da! Event quest. Send Genie to mess with Jafar's magic. Go, Genie! So, I wonder how many more quests we actually have to go um, with Jafar and stuff like that. I have a feeling that the storyline is coming to an end with that. Um, so, I am going to try and finish that up. I was going to save that for another video, but I think it's getting good now. And I want to know if we can actually defeat Jafar and start using those characters in the Tower Challenge now. Um, because I've got all the Aladdin characters. Even if they're low at this point, they would still be helpful in challenging the tower. So here's Jafar's lampstand. Now that where it's right beside the normal lampstand right now. So the genie's lamp and Jafar's lamp are right beside each other. So basically the same, a little bit of detailing on them that's different, but for the most part, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm happy to have that in my kingdom for sure. And I love that dark purple color. It's so amazing. It doesn't really go with the area, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's just so cool. It could, I guess, go in with um, Nightmare Before Christmas or any Halloween spooky stuff or even the Evil Queen's Mirror um, attraction, stuff like that from Snow White. Like, if you're going with color concepts, you could kind of change your kingdom 
a little bit to sort of include that in those sections as well. Now, speaking of rearranging the kingdom, after my speed build, I've kind of changed things just a bit. So I will be showing you guys in the next video sort of what I have done in my kingdom now that I have some more land and a lot more new attractions. I had to make some room to fit the stuff in, at least the stuff that I needed. Jafar, no, no. What happened to my curse? And what is that infernal racket? <laughs> I'm not sure myself. I think Jeannie calls it freeform jazz. But I do know that it's what he turned your curse into. Ah, poor Jafar. Face it, Jafar, so long as my friends and I trust each other, and so long as nobody trusts you, you'll never beat us. Quest complete. Ta-da! <laughs> Fool! This isn't over. I, I will have my revenge. Sure you will. Maleficent. That, that imbecile! So easily outflanked for all his posturing. Oh, I had expected better of him. But if not the vizier, then who will conquer the kingdom for me now? <laughs> Another glorious victory. I knew that playing against myself was the only strategy worthy of a queen. <sighs> Definitely not the queen of hearts. She is not being helpful. Just selfish as always. So really the only storyline now that I'm missing is from the evil queen herself. So that is something I would have liked to have done, but I don't think it is going to be possible now um, because I would have to open Snow White legendary chests and since I spent so much on those magical chests and I have so many new characters and attractions and stuff like that, I don't think I need any more new ones for now. Um, I've got so many, I just, I need a little break from getting some new characters. Um, I know I'm gonna have some too once this tower challenge is over. I've got Mother Gothel now to bring in who is ready and Thumper I believe is now ready. So there's lots of characters still to come into the kingdom. So we have got lots of exciting new things to come once this tower challenge is officially over. Um, only one more chapter to go. Um, we still have like a day or whatever before the next chapter starts. So we will see how that goes. But until then, I think that besides now being able to add the feature collection, which will help collect currency and stuff like that, I think that is everything that I'm going to do for this video. So sorry guys, it was so long, but it took so long to get through chapter two and all of that dialogue. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big Mickey thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the little bell for post notifications, and we will see you guys for the start of chapter three.